Women and picking them gather for Portia Hotel for Bidin City will be the venue for Educational Grants and Women Empowerment Day. Where Madam Omore Deo Sifu will be the National Deputy Treasurer of the All Progressives Congress and President Founder of Okwebolo Mandate Coalition and Ambassador Western Iyamu will be the convener of Diaspora Friends for Senator Mondo Okwebolo and Honorable Dennis Idaosa Organize. Came when I went to New Jersey to talk to Nigerians in the diaspora on why we should support our incoming governor, His Excellency Senator Monde Okwebolo. And while we were there, Ambassador Western hosted us to an event, and the event was widely attended by Nigerians. And he's somebody that has a lot of followership. Even though he's not here in Nigeria, he's in the U.S., he was once the Secretary General of um, NANS in Nigeria. So, you know, once a leader, always a leader. And I like the fact that he has crowd. I like the fact that he agreed to work for us. I like the fact that he decided to leave New Jersey behind and come down to, um, to Nigeria to mobilize for the best governor Edo is going to have at this time. He believed in the project and he has been in this project with me. Well, we are here today, we decided that, what can we do in support of our incoming governor? We also decided that we want to give educational grants to some, some of our mothers here, our sisters. It's not easy when the children are going to school. Fine, even if it's free education here and there in some places, government school. They need to buy books. They need to buy uniform. They need to buy socks. They need to buy, you know, stationaries for their children to go to school. And it's not easy because things are hard. So we also decided, apart from the empowerment, to add back to school educational grants so that the parents will use that one to take care of their children and go back to school. So that is why we are here. We know that I've told people time and time without number, look at what we have. We have a candidate who God has sent to us. A God sent candidate. I call him the Messiah. Yeah. Now, everybody said Akmako Messiah. I started the Messiah. Because when I was in New Jersey, I said, Our incoming governor is the Messiah to all of us. And it was shown in video everywhere. Now, everybody is Akmako Messiah. You know, so we have a Messiah. Why should we not? Somebody who cares about us. Somebody who cares about women. Why are we doing this thing for women? Because we know he has the women in his heart. The women agenda. Why are we paying money for children to go back to school? Because we know he's interested in our children growing. He knows he's interested in our children going to school. A child that doesn't go to school will become nothing in life. And it's something that he likes and wants to do. The event gets plenty APC party faithfuls and leaders welcome, including Honorable Morede Osifu, Ambassador Western Iyamu, Philip Shaibu, Deputy Governor of Edo State, Senator Mondo Kwebolo, APC gubernatorial candidate, Adam Soshomole, Pastor Saige Izeyamu, Jared Tenebe, State Party Chairman, Matthew Rogide, will be the Director General of the Edo State Campaign Council, Lawrence Oka, Mrs. Esther Kolade, will be State Party Women Leader. Senator Mondo Pueblo, as he takes the podium, gives thanks to the organizers for focusing on education and he also yearns saying a part of him agenda for better education. Let, let, me, let me thank the convener of this program and my leader, Adam Sishonole, my leader, the state party chairman. The DG of our campaign council, Lawrence Oka, let me permit me please to observe the existing protocol. I want to thank the organizer of this program for one reason, because it's focused on my number two point agenda. That is education. I'll make it clear that by the time we come into government, we are going to declare state of emergency on education. When I mean that it's all settled in education, talk about the teachers. We are going to employ over 5,000 teachers. 
that, that is going to be the first phase. Because right now, we have, don't have teachers in our schools. And the buildings are nothing to write home about. So, in the aspect of renovation, is going to be state of emergency also. I, it's not easy to spend money, but you have done that. The high point of the event be the presentation of educational grants to the children where they present and the gifts of items to women and also the presentation of our word to Madam Omorede Osifo. I be Omori Eru Oluwashefumi Catherine and I the report for Obalan Television. brother here, Ambassador Western Iyamu hosted for us to talk to the Nigerians in diaspora on why we want Senator Monde Okwebolo to be the next governor of Edo State. And it was a very good outing. And after that, Ambassador Western Iyamu set up a group called Diaspora Friends for Monde Okwebolo, Senator Monde Okwebolo and right on the Budenis Idaosa. So they continued from there. And we have all been, you know, contributing, watching what's going on, supporting. So it came to election is closed. What do we do for this election? And we both put our heads together. And we decided that this time, full stuff, things are expensive. And it's not easy. So we decided that um, we should buy full stuffs and share to women. Because women are the ones that cook. That's why you see majority were women, just a few men. Majority were women because we wanted it to be, go to the hands of those who cook and do everything. So we make sure we provided the food stuffs for them. Um, five kg bags of rice, five kg gari, milk, um, oil, salt, and other things to help them. And um, also, also decided that just providing food stuff is not enough. We, it's, it's time to go back to school. This is September. Children are going back to school. So what can we do to help? The only thing we can do, as they say, back to school is to give their parents money, to have something to use to buy biros, pencils, notebooks, and things to help them. You know, so we decided that yes, we'll have financial grants as well. We'll give them money to help them. And a lot of parents heard about it when they saw the poster. People we don't know, so they're calling. Oh, my child needs this. My child needs that. My child is here. My child, you know. And then that was how we put this on. And in support. Most importantly, that's where it came up from, support of our governorship candidate, because he likes education. Education is one of his key points agenda, to come and you know, make education better, employ teachers in schools so that our children can learn and have enough teachers. So we said we'll do something in education. Just giving food stuff is not enough, because he also likes welfare. He also likes the women, empowerment of women. He's very keen on empowerment of women. Uh... What actually inspired me is uh, inspiration comes from above and it has to be in you to be a humanitarian, to be a philanthropist before you can actually do such a thing. Uh, while we were preparing for electoral uh, campaign and all these things, so I told her, I said, why is everyone making t-shirt, making face cap, 
wearing it, and people are hungry. There is no way we can spend our money and we can fulfill everybody. It's okay, let's come together, let's use some part of the funds to provide food, to provide grants for our people. Instead of going to them and just campaigning and saying different things. People are hungry. So we came out with uh, some funds. We bought rice, we bought oil, we bought beans, we bought different items and put them in one bag to alleviate our people. So the inspiration is actually, it burns out from wherever you go, people complain there's hunger. And there's nothing you can do. All you can do is do the little you can do. So that's why we came up with that initiative. Actually, I have a foundation, the Western Yamu Global Foundation. So these are, I've been doing these kind of things. And I've been giving grants, uh, buying books for students, and all other things. But this is not the foundation. This is purely humanitarian services. It's not, no, it's not, it's not all about politics. On the 21st election, we come and go. But the people remain. So we can also do what we have to do for the people to alleviate their suffering. Uh, today is a very wonderful day. We appreciate our mama, Honorable Osifo Omoede, for the empowerment given to women and the grant given to students back to school. It really shows that when Okmeo will become governor of those states, things will change for good. And we, we may believe the capacity of Senator Mondi Okpeo, a.k.a. Akpa Komiza, because he is the only man that can change the narrative of Edo State. The only man that can put his mind into our women's face. Come September 21st, I am knocking my hand on my chest that APC Edo State, they are taking over Edo State. Come Ray Custom. My name is Harry Edo Seyomorogbe. I'm director of youths for Mondi Okpeo and Dennis Idaosa campaign against local government. It's a good one, and as you can see today, this is, this is the beginning of the more of what APC will do when we emerge. Come, uh, what we are doing now is we urge the Edo people to come out in mass to vote for Mondo Pueblo come September 21st, so that more of this will come. Because all he has said is he's going to declare a state of emergency on education. As you can see, in the past eight years in this state, educational system that we have has been in the state of catastrophe. Yeah, we have uh, an e-learning center, but we don't even have we don't even have a good primary school. We don't even have a good secondary school. All we hear, all we hear every day is 500 500 uh, school has been renovated, but none we can point out to. But now it's about that time that we tell the people that too much of the talks is enough. Now it's time to walk. I really walk. want to appreciate them. I'm really grateful. Yes. I pray that may God bless them in Jesus' name. And my twins. Are among those that was granted this check today and I'm so happy to the organizers may God bless you all. thank you I feel very happy elated and excited for my child benefited from the grant I never expected my child to be called and given and it's a big relief for me as a parent in this time for me to get something free to help my child go back to school. I'm very happy. I appreciate the convener. I appreciate this new dispensation. I'm happy. It's a big relief. It shows that in the aspect of education, this government will do well. Thank you, Mr. Tito. God bless you. Someone that has taken education to very close to our heart, you know. I want that, actually, that's one of the driving forces that made I want to do this. Because, you know, we have to understand that in Nigeria today, we all know what time it is. You understand what I'm saying? And not too many people are finding it easy. So it's not much, but it can go a long way to put a smile and to help people get to where they are going. You know, it's like refueling people, refueling a future. You know, because if we don't put it today, you never know. It might not, it might say, ah, if I didn't do this, maybe if I had done this, you know, we don't want that. Let's just do it. You know? Welcome to Open and Multi-Choice Media House, where we break history from your memories. We offer services such as LED screens for indoor and outdoor events, multimedia equipment such as drone, crane, cameras and supporting gears, gimbals, audio gears, projectors, etc. News, broadcast, and documentary, interview and many more. Live streaming, telecast and teleconferencing. Event production, photography and videography, 
for any of our services, please visit our website at www.upperlandmagazine.com. You can also call any of these numbers plus 39388586261 or plus 234-8057-210228 or plus 234-8167-210008 or plus 234-8058-163318. You can also send us an email to admin at oberlandmagazine.com.